Today I'm going to show you tips and tricks that I use to keep my family and house running smoothly so that everyone stays on track, nothing gets out of hand or too overwhelming, which makes a much less stressful environment for us all. We are out and about during the morning, so today we are going to walk through what I do in the afternoon when I'm home from the time Nico, my son, goes down for a nap to the time my husband comes home, which is normally around dinner time, and the evening routine starts up. during the morning time so usually by the time we get back Capria is still sleeping in her car seat so I'll run upstairs put Nico down for a nap and then come downstairs to start my lunch usually I will eat from the prepped food that I make for the week now this saves me time during nap time from making my lunch which can be time consuming but today I actually had to go grocery shopping I had ran out of my prepped food so I just ordered lunch on the computer real quick before I started a true crime show to listen to on YouTube and then started to clean up while I waited for my lunch to come. So listening to crime shows while I clean is kind of a way to trick my brain into doing something I don't want to do but still enjoying it. So I enjoy listening to my crime shows which make me kind of zone out while I'm cleaning because I'm really just listening to that and not thinking about the cleaning. And it also helps me look forward to cleaning because I'm actually looking forward to listening to my crime shows. So I kind of trick my brain in that sense to do the cleaning I need to do for the day. room multiple times a day but usually it's just a quick straighten once a day though I will do a vacuum in there because God only knows what he does in there and what kind of crumbs or whatever he gets on his floors so I make sure to vacuum at least once a day but I do like to stay up on cleaning the playroom because if I don't it gets to be a mess that I just can't handle and then I start to put it off and it just gets worse and we don't want any of that so I try to keep up on this as much as possible if I clean up kind of as we go it's definitely way more manageable After I cleaned that up, I headed downstairs to put some laundry in. I saw something on, I think it was a YouTube video I was watching about like tips on how to stay on top of things in your house. And laundry has been probably one of the biggest differences. Having two children, the laundry, I am drowning. I am absolutely drowning in this laundry. It is just never ending. The thing I was listening to said to do it every day, but that's a lot for me. So I've been doing it every other day and I've been keeping up as much as I can and definitely much better than I was when I would just do like a load a week because that was just unmanageable. So it's definitely easier doing it every other day, for me at least. So yes, it's possible to get some of this stuff done while my kids are awake, right? But the thing is, first, I enjoy doing these things, so I consider it me time in a way. And second, I want to be present with my kids when they're awake. And Nico is pretty demanding in that area so it's definitely just easier for me to do this stuff while they're sleeping and i feel like i don't want to relax while they're sleeping because that will throw me off for the day i won't want to continue to be productive if i'm sitting on the couch or relaxing during their nap time so i kind of just push through it keep myself busy and then just relax when they're in bed for the night Sons of my guitar. I know I have to be somewhere. 
so I have been giving Nico big toys that he got for Christmas once a week. So I've been saving them up and bringing them up from the basement once a week, a different one every week, and then I'll set it up. He'll play with it for the week. It's like getting a new toy every week, and that way he's not getting too overwhelmed by all the different Christmas toys that he got. But I only did this with like the big toys that you have to put together, and that will kind of keep his attention longer because I just want to kind of stretch that out. And also I want him to play with everything and not get distracted if he gets too many toys at once. So this is the last one we have to put together. He's gotten all the rest of them. So while I eat my lunch, I'm going to try to put this together before he wakes up. challenging things I've noticed having a two-story home and having kids is that there is so much stuff that needs to go upstairs in order to be put away so what I started to do was I put a little basket at the bottom of the stairs and fill that up with what needs to go upstairs to be put away and either I will take that up at the end of the night and put everything away at once or what I've been doing lately is never going upstairs empty-handed so I'll take one thing from the basket every single time I go upstairs put it away real quick and that has definitely been working a little bit better as far as time management it's not as time consuming to empty the basket and everyone in your family can do this especially if you have older kids you just make a rule that you never go upstairs empty-handed Generally, Nico keeps his own room clean. He also helps clean up his toys downstairs, especially the ones that travel outside the playroom. He isn't really allowed to do anything until the toys he is no longer playing with are picked up. And a trick for this that I've learned is to ask him to clean up the toys instead of you know demanding that he clean them up. Because when I ask him, he'll do it and then I will praise him for doing such a good job, being such a good helper, cleaning up his toys and that works every time. So probably one of my number one tips on keeping the house in order is getting your toddler or older child to clean up after themselves as much as they can. This also teaches them to continue to clean up after themselves in the future. some independent play and snack time. I, at this point, will make myself a coffee to give me an extra energy boost to tackle the afternoon with the kids. And Nico will get a snack that he will have in his playroom while he plays independently. And I will kind of get set up for the afternoon mentally or physically, whatever I need to do. Nico is finishing his snack, I will get Capria fed. This usually ends up being the time that she wakes up from her nap, so she'll want to eat.
after snack time, it's time for diaper changes. So I will change their diapers one after the other so that they both have diaper changes at the same time just to keep a little routine and to get everything done at once so that they are both fresh and dry for the next activities. And after snack time we have a little play all together just for a little bit and kind of in between that is when I will fold some laundry or get like a little chore done that I can do while watching the kids. new way of folding laundry I think it was on TikTok but it's almost like a little envelope you fold the bottom part into the top part if I can find the video I'll link it below so I tried it out on the kids clothes it was a little difficult on some of their clothes like the onesies and sleepers but then like the pants it worked and then definitely like my leggings it worked if you can get it to work it's definitely a great space saver and it makes things easier when everything stays folded when you're transporting it from wherever you folded the clothes to the drawers that it gets put away in so if you can get it to work I think this is a huge help shake once a day to kind of help get my protein up and help with my workouts so I actually make kind of like a fruits and veggie smoothie and put my protein powder into that because I use unflavored protein powder so what I'll do is I will cut up everything for the week and put it into a little baggie so that literally my whole smoothie is in that baggie I just have to pour it into the blender blend it up and my smoothie is ready this definitely cuts down on time during the week, keeps everything running smoothly, and keeps me on track with my protein intake and the clean eating that I have been trying to keep up with. 
I usually have this protein shake in between lunch and dinner just to kind of hold me over till dinner because we don't eat till later after Nico is in bed. So we eat kind of late around like 7.30, 8 o'clock. So this definitely will hold me over until that time and still give me some energy to tackle bedtime and everything that needs to be done during our evening routine, which is definitely the craziest. After getting a couple little chores done, we will have playtime together. So I'll go into the playroom with the kids and play in there with them until my husband gets home. So that is our afternoon routine with all my tips and tricks on how to keep a household running smoothly. If you enjoyed a video like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos about cleaning, organizing, just being a stay-at-home mom in general. Hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here with us. Thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.